Hey booktube, it's 11.38pm, so I'm about to head to bed, but I do need to give an update for day 5, and I'm sorry I haven't vlogged a lot today, but it's been a very uneventful day reading-wise, but a very eventful day for me in general. Uh, so I have been listening to my audiobook, I have just under 4 hours, I've got 3 hours and 53 minutes. Um, so that's pretty good. I still haven't read any more if I'm number four, but I'm going to read at least a few chapters before I go to bed tonight. And that's really all I have to say reading-wise about today, because I woke up, I went to work, I came home, I edited videos, and I recorded um, for the challenges. And then my sister and her boyfriend came into town. And we went out for dinner to celebrate my mom's birthday, and then we played games. So, and I think that's pretty much how this weekend is going to go. I really just need to finish I Am Number 4 and watch Maleficent. And then I'm, I'm technically good. It'd be nice if I could read more, but I just don't know if that's really going to happen. Alright, so with that, I'm going to... Bid you adieu, good night. I'm gonna read a couple chapters and go to bed. I'll update you if I can in the morning, but again, I have another very busy day. So we'll see. Alrighty, hey everyone, it is 9.16 in the morning, and it's day six of the reading challenge, but as you can probably tell by now, I'm here with my dad. <laughs> Yeah, we're nerds, it's great. And we are actually downtown Grand Rapids right now. We're participating in the color run, which is the happiest run on the planet. The yeah, it's a 5K, it's the happiest 5K in the world. Thank you, Dad. Uh, so yeah, my dad and I are walking it because I hate running and he has a bad knee, but we finally got him to do it this year. Um, and I think I can edit things. Yes. I am going to be listening to my audiobook throughout this run. I have just under four hours left, so I'll get a good chunk of it done today, if not the entire thing. And my dad is also listening to his audiobook. He is like the original audiobook listener of the family. And so, yeah, I'm just going to take you along this run a little bit. And yeah, we're about to get very, very colorful the first color stations coming up so this is not going to be clean anymore yes i did it okay okay we've been through the first two color stations the first one was a tie-dye pink and yellow and our first drink Yes, on our first drink, because I just chugged. So I don't give you a lot of time to drink that. Um, and then our second one was like a green-blue. We haven't gotten very much color yet. I mean, if you look at my like, pants. <laughs> right. We're getting there. It's like on our number pad rather than like our white shirt. So I'm going to see if I can't fix that for the next uh, color station. What do we have coming up? Is that blue? Do we have blue yet? I thought we just had some blue. blue. Oh yeah, we have blue coming up, so we're gonna get some more blue. And then I know purple is the end, and that's four out of the five, so I don't remember what the other one is. Yeah, that's really fun, so we don't have a lot of time. My audiobook is in a very intense spot, so huh, that's fun. Dad, what are you listening to? I am listening to... Oh, I forgot the name of it. Do you, yeah. Do you know the author? Um, something Kramer. <laughs> okay, so. I'm listening to the Turncoats Gambit. By? Uh, Andrea Kramer. Kramer. Cool. Here, <laughs> Nice. How far into it are you? Chapter 10. Do you like it? Yes. Would you recommend it's it to other book people? Two. Oh. Yes, I, I would. Is it a regular series or a trilogy? Or? It's a trilogy. I like trilogies because you know how many there are and it's pretty clear how it's going to go without like 
knowing exactly how it's going to go, I love Chili Cheese. What genre is it? Um, teen fantasy. Is that, you listen to a lot of that, right? Yes. Yeah, it's pretty good. What are other genres you like to listen to? Well, for me, I like Lee Child's Jack Reacher series. Um, but I also like other fantasy ones. You know, like, um, boy, you know, I've got all the Hunger Games and all the Harry Classic, Potter. Yeah. I also have listened to two series by David Baldelli, or Baldushi. And those more are not fantasy, but they're more kind of crime solving kind of stories. Yeah. So, so a little variety of everything. Depends on what I'm going to move for. I'd like fair. to uh, change it up. <laughs> Completely fair. Like, I've been trying to read more fantasy, or no, I've been trying to read more mystery. And that hasn't been a huge motivation for me recently, just because mysteries can be like very hit or miss, and I'm too afraid to read a miss fan uh, mystery. So, what do you like? What's the best part of books you like? Do you like the plot, the characters, world building, language? Well, a lot of times I like the character building, but this one takes place during the time of the Revolutionary War. And so it's kind of mirroring that a little bit, but its own way. You know, this talks about things going on in Boston, but their own, they're all having their own kind of revolution. So it's like a revolution within the revolution. That's interesting. Yeah. All right, well, we're about to go through the next color station, and I'm borrowing these headphones from my mom, so I gotta turn this off. But like I said, hopefully we'll get a little more color on like the actual white parts of us. And I'll be back. Okay, so we just went through two more stations. This last one was purple. They got me pretty good, and yes. of course they got my dad really good. He wanted his hair purple, because that's his favorite color. So I admire him for that. It was great. Yep. <laughs> we even got like half your face too. Yeah, they got you everywhere. They got you really good. But yeah, so that means we're almost done. This Yay. is like the home stretch. Uh, there should be one more color right at the end. And yeah, so this has been a lot of fun. For us, it's called the homely stretch. <laughs> the homely stretch. But yeah, my book just keeps getting more and more intense. So I keep like opening my mouth and being like, <gasps> but the thing is that if I get close to a color station and I do that, all the color's gonna go in my mouth and that stuff will dry your mouth out. It's disgusting. And uh, I haven't seen another water station, so I don't know if I could wash it out. How are you doing? Doing great. I'm feeling like royalty because I'm wearing the color of royalty. <laughs> royal color. Person. Royal something anyway. <laughs> the royal book listener. <laughs> but yeah, how's your book coming? Uh, pretty well, but I had to stop because I wanted to get to a point where I know what's going on and I'm not going to stop in the middle of a cliffhanger. Yeah, I'm in the middle of a cliffhanger, so I understand. You. Oh, you get your I understand what you're saying. This sucks. Um, but yeah, now this run slash walk for us has not taken near as long as I thought it would, but I guess that was because in previous years when I've run it, it seems like it takes forever because I hate running and I'm not a very fast runner anyway. So I guess it always seems like forever when you're running, but when you're walking, it's like very leisurely. It's I, almost enjoyable, almost. Yeah, yeah, if it weren't for like the parts of this where it's a lot of sun. Like when we're by buildings in the shade, it's great, but the sun is like... <laughs> um, yeah, so I haven't listened to as much of my audiobook as I was kind of expecting, but that's also definitely on me for like also vlogging this much. So. <laughs> yeah, I think I'm gonna listen to the rest of my book until the end, and then I'll update you then when I'm just all colored. I literally... Oh, we did it! Why do you start a race? In order to finish the race. And we did. We finished the color run. The last color was green. I did not get very far in my audio but we're going to ignore that fact. Live longer process. <laughs> I'll All update right. you later. Hello. It is 1041. I'm back at home. Uh, we finished the race. It was great. We even got these little unicorn medals. It was a lot of fun. And then my family actually did this thing where they also give out color packets. We all huddled together and we threw the color in the air. And my aunt got me really good with her green in my hair. But yes, it was great. I got to listen to my audiobook, so did my dad. Got plenty of color and now I'm going to take a shower. And I'm going to take a shower very quickly because everyone in my family needs to take a shower.
are so big. <laughs> this is Frederick. He is my sister's cat. He's ginormous. Mm, you do kisses? Okay. He's one of now three cats in the house. Two of them are my sisters. One is Polly, who you have previously met. He's also really heavy because he's really big, but he's also really poopy. So, now without further ado, the challenge. I'm excited, but I'm also really worried. Um, so for those of you who don't know what that is, that is the book spine challenge. So basically, um, you've got to spell out your name with the first letter of a book title, and they added the twist of making it all one color. But yeah. So, you're supposed to choose a color, and the thing is, it's like, I'm not sure I can actually do this challenge. I don't know if I have five books of the same color that spell out my name, Laura, L-A-U-R-A. I'm really worried about the U. So, I think pretty much I'm going to look for the U first, and whatever color that is, that's what I'm going to do. I really hope I have a U. So, I'm going to get this started. Got two minutes on my computer. <laughs> Yes. So I did it and I had six seconds left on the clock and I'd spelled my name. So the color I ended up going with was white because I only have one book that starts with a U, and it is white. I did stretch it on a couple of these, <laughs> but that's the only way I was going to get it done. Um, but yeah, so let me show you these books. So first off, we have Lion, Witch, in the Wardrobe. This is actually the script I used uh, when we did the play in middle school. It's technically the Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe, but I'm excluding the, so yeah. Majority white because it's a script. <laughs> so, Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe, L. Next we have An Unkindness of Magicians. It's majority white, <laughs> and this book is by Cat Howard. So, haha. <laughs> And then the wonderful book that starts with you is Uglies by Scott Westerfield, the first in the Ugly series, and the only one of the Ugly series I actually own. I need to get the rest of it, but this is actually the second cover. Um, so the first cover came out and it's not white at all, it's actually really dark, kind of gray. Frederick, are you going into my closet? This is where I stretch it even a little more. Because it's Reflections on the Psalms, which is by uh, C.S. Lewis. Um, starts with R. It's majority white. Like, most of it is white. And then the last one. This is where I probably stretch it the most. It's called Alive. It's by Scott Sigler. It's white and blue. I mean, like, it's got white tints. It'll definitely stand out among the rest of it, but I don't have another book that starts with A that's completely white other than the first one. So yes, here's my name, L-A-U-R-A, -A, Laura, and yeah, everything except probably this last A works. I don't know if this really works. I don't think I quite completed the challenge. I did my best, but um... Oh well, <laughs> this just means I have to go buy more books. The thing is, I am much more of the person who goes to the library, checks out books, and reads them, and then only if I really like them do I buy them. Um, so I just don't own as many books, but I have read a lot of books, don't worry. Um, and then books I do have, I generally get from things. Like, I have a friend whose mom is an editor, and she gets sent all kinds of books. And so sometimes I'll buy them from her ginormous books garage sales for really cheap, or she'll even give some of them to me, or like she also does like different activities of where you can win books, and I love participating in those. So I have a lot of like bookish adult friends. I have a friend of mine who 
is an author, a very accomplished author, and she's really cool. I've gone to her writing camps a few times. Um, so like, yeah, I don't own very many books, so this was really hard. I did the best I could, but I don't think I completed it. But, um, take a picture of your stack spelling your name. I almost, the thing is, while I was looking, is I also noticed I have a lot of red covers. And I would have been able to do it in red if it weren't for the stupid U. So if you guys know of a book that has a red cover, red cover that starts with U, let me know and I'll buy it. I'd prefer if it were a good book, but purely for this, I want that book. <laughs> Alrighty, so that is the end of the challenge, and I'll update you guys later. Yay. It's 12.41 in the morning. I still have an hour and 10 minutes left. In the audiobook. But the John Bellion concert, though, that was really good. That was absolutely phenomenal. Um, we biked to and from, so we got to see a bit of Chicago, and that's why we're back so late. But, yeah, did you like the concert? I did. Uh, a few of my songs, my favorite songs, were played. And we got to jam to that. Yeah. yeah. It's pretty great. And the yeah. opening acts were really good too. The opening okay. bands were pretty good. Something about the marriage proposal. Oh yeah, we even saw like a cute little marriage proposal. One of the opening acts was singing this really sweet song and then all and uh, one girl had texted him saying it was her favorite song and then so he invited invited her up on stage and then halfway through she turns around and there's her boyfriend kneeling with a ring and she said yes and it's absolutely no. beautiful that needs to be in a romance novel someone contact Sarah Dessen or some other romance novelist and just be like this is real life romance <laughs> use it <laughs> yeah I can talk about my beef with romance novels later <laughs> if you guys want <laughs> but yeah so I so technically it's uh, Sunday morning really early in the morning well because it's 12 like 45 right. so this is the beginning of the last day and we have to drive back to Grand Rapids tomorrow which is like three days and then we're gonna play a lot of games but you know what I will get these books done comment down below and let me know how your readathon is going have you completed all the challenges you wanted to how many books have you read and if you like these vlogs and want to keep watching them make sure you rate comment click the subscribe button and just let me know what you guys think i want to hear your opinions and join become reading warriors like us yeah. you know any anyone and everyone is welcome to be a reading warrior so good night bye bye It is the end of the reading rush. Yesterday was the last day and I am pleased to report that I did follow through and finish both books last night before I went to bed. I was falling asleep, but I did it. So I did officially do all of the challenges required. Um, my first one, Once Upon a Dream, Twisted Tale, Purple on the Cover, meant to read last year. Um, Psych Sky for Crime Fighting for the Totally Unqualified, Five Words in the Title and More, read it in one spot. Um, I am number four, non-human main character, um, and then, I keep forgetting them, and then, uh, Children of Blood and Bone, author's first book. What was the other challenge? <laughs> One was a book to movie adaptation and I watched, so seven, I watched Maleficent because I figured Maleficent had the most similar story to any of the books I did read. So I'm gonna count it. And yeah, so I counted it. So I did finish. Um, I only read 
four books. One of them was an audiobook. I enjoyed all of them. I think I'm going to do a separate video reviewing each of the books I read so I can actually talk about them in depth, especially since the last two that I finished them, especially Children of Blood and Bone. I was like, oh, oh, the ending. Oh, 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 yeah. So I'm going to try not to give anything away in this video um, so that when I do a video actually reviewing it, there will be spoilers in there. And so I just don't want anyone to spoil it because I know a couple of people who are reading it or who um, are just about to start reading it. And so I want them to be able to relate but also not be afraid of spoilers because that's one thing when I watch book reviews is I'm so afraid if the person will be like spoiler alert and then say it or if they're just gonna come right out and well now it's all out there in the open and I'm I just I can't um so I am gonna do a review of that soon and uh so while the reading rush may be done and I'm very sad um I will I have a lot of time now to actually edit the videos that I took <laughs> during the readathon so that I can actually get the vlogs out there and then I can go back to making a normal video schedule. I didn't plan or make any videos during the reading rush because I barely had enough time to read as it was with family coming but I really wanted to make sure I got to spend time with my family because I don't actually get to see my sister a lot and I love my sister so much and so it was really great. I, I just said goodbye to her. So I'm also really emotional from that. I'm like, oh, Amy. <laughs> um, so yeah, now I get we get to go back to our reg regularly scheduled programming. Woohoo! So yeah, just to let you know, I will be doing reviews of the books I read, and I did complete the challenge. I hope you guys go down below if you completed what you hoped. If you completed part of it, or if you didn't complete it at all. <laughs> Like, let me know because I'm curious because I was just so close to not finishing it. But I am pretty happy I got to do all the videos and the pictures and some of the Twitter sprints. But for some reason, I'm not getting my Twitter notifications until hours later. So I had a really hard time doing it. Um, but yeah, and then if you like the vlogs or even if you didn't and you would just rather me do regular booktube videos... Um, make sure you subscribe and then click the bell so that you know when I am doing those videos. And But if you did like the vlogs, feel free to give them a thumbs up and comment down below what you liked, what you didn't like, what I could do better, what you want me to do more of, etc. and so forth. So I will see you guys in my next video.